Hello girls and gals, what's going on? Uh, so, I guess a couple of my videos so far are tutorial based, but uh, so I'm in a world, uh, it's my friend's world actually, and uh, so I just want to do a little before and after. Um, so I'm planning to do a uh, water mill, uh, I guess down this slope, uh, and right in this area, I'm going to try and make the control room. But yeah, so I plan to have uh, maybe a couple stages of power coming through uh, down this slope right here. Um, I think that's where I'm going to do it. If I move it, obviously you'll see in the after video, but I guess for just as of before, that's what I want to show you right here. Okay, all done. So, uh, it took me maybe a few hours just to get everything sorted and uh, get the water all set up, get all my materials built, get everything figured out, and have power connected. So basically, I think I'll stand somewhere around here. That's what it looks like now. Uh, you can see I have uh, 10 water mills connected right now. Um, just right in there, a couple of buckets from the top. That's all it took. And now I know that's not very exciting, so I'm going to show you the inside. Now, easy water mills are to use, and in my personal opinion. So basically, this is it from the back. Pretty much the same, no water and some cables. Um, I'm using copper cables just because. I know a lot of people or I guess the facts are that you lose energy the longer it travels uh, in bad cables or whatever or efficiency for travel distance uh, copper is the least and uh, glass fiber is the highest something along those lines anyways so yeah as you can see those are just water mills on the top uh, and there's just a copper uh, insulated copper wire attached to the back of each of these and then basically and my cables uh, meet up right before it goes into the bat box and my bat box is already charged um, and I have uh, a little pathway dug underneath the ground so it goes under here and then probably somewhere around here under the ground or under my stairway and then it came out around here and instead of having it all messy, I just ran it around the back. Um, so that's, you can see it, that's just coming straight from the other room. Um, I can show you a little bit back here. I have it cleared out a little. So I haven't showed this yet, um, maybe for another video. But uh, I have some solar panels outside, so basically they come. Uh, you can kind of see, you can see the top there. That's almost at the top, so my solar panels are up there. Blah blah blah, and they lead down. Anyways, I guess that's not really important right now. Getting off track. Um, so, like I said, my wire comes around this wall. I dug it around that corner, so it comes out right through here, uh, down the wall. And then it connects with the solar panel, which is kind of what I was getting at. And really, it's as simple as, as it sounds, connecting these things. As long as these things connect up before they meet the box, the power adds, and it will take from one. And then as soon as one of your sources is depleted, it'll start taking from the other. Uh, so basically, I got my little mess of cables. I guess technically I don't need either of these. I don't think. Hopefully they don't blow up. And yeah, basically they connect that easy. And I got my furnace, uh, my macerator, and my uh, extractor. That's just a backup generator. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, maybe I'll show you some more uh, house plans later on. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hope this was kind of cool seeing uh, how I did it and if it's different from your way of doing it. And yeah, if you like it, leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want. Send me some ideas. Do it up. Peace.